everybody. Welcome to the broadcast. We are very excited. This is the first JSB band concert of 2022. We do it in March. We'll do it again in April. Got some new tunes, got some of our classic tunes, and we are really excited that you are here with us tonight. Now, as you know, we're in a matching challenge campaign at the ACLJ, so during the course of the evening, you'll be seeing little alerts that says if you want to donate to the ACLJ, just click right here. In fact, that's, that's tagged right there if you're watching on Facebook or Rumble or YouTube, wherever you might be. So I want to encourage you to do that. Support the work of the ACLJ. This is a big night, last day of the month. This is the, obviously our biggest day of the month. And uh, we've got a great, great set list prepared for you. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to rock out. We've got some new ones. I want you to share whatever feed of whatever social media platform you're on right now. Do us all a favor. Share it with your friends. And we also love reading the comments. And believe me, we read the comments. So put your comments. Be kind. And 95% and of you are. I'd say 98% of you are. And then it's a couple of trolls. And I love the trolls, actually. It's almost hysterical. I thought that that the original of Fooling Yourself was better than what the band did. And the next person says, I don't think they were as good as the band was, in a positive way. So, you know, we don't care, because we're here to have a good time. We're here to celebrate the work of the American Center for Law and Justice, and most of you will outdo the trolls anyways. All right, we're gonna, this was one of, this was the very first video that this band ever released, 240 years ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> that we released is the very first one we did. And let me just say, it's not an easy tune, but we do nail it. John Lowry on the keys does a phenomenal job. John and John and, and Mark sing it great. The whole band does a great job. Here we go. The song is at six tunes called Fooling Yourself, Angry Young Man. Ready? Here we go.
encourage you, that little tune, not so little, by the way, uh, is a great, great tune. We love playing that tune. Like I said, it was our first one that we ever really put out. Now, the next tune is Give a Little Bit. Uh, great song. Also, kind of makes sense with what we're asking you to do tonight. Give a little bit. And whatever you do give is going to be matched. So we have donors that are going to match whatever gift you give to the ACLJ tonight. Of course, it's tax deductible. So if you gave $50, we get $100. Somebody gave 1000 we got another 1000 So it really works great. The tune's a great tune. Give a little bit. You understand what to do. Share the feed with your friends. Get your comments in. Here we go. something to the crowd here. Thalon Hello, crowd. I am Josh Litt, and I'm great to be here with y'all. Thank you for supporting our group, our pets, ACLJ. And we do thank you very much again. $50 means $100, $1,000 means $2,000. It's for an amazing cause. Please. 
And some big new projects coming up, too. We'll talk about it a little bit later. All right, this is a new one. Yeah, let's do an America tune. What America do you tune. We've done Canadian tunes, so we'll do an America tune. All right, Lonely People, famous. Here we go. because we've got a brand new tune coming by Yes called I've Seen All Good People. It's a fun one, but I'm going to go guitar, 12 string. Then when he has, uh, when John Lowry has his little uh, organ interlude, I get 40 seconds to get from there to here. The first couple of times, we almost had some missteps, so now we've timed it. We're going to be good, so I'm going to go over there. So somebody else, talk to our great audience, share this with your friends, Brand new, great tune by Yes. Everybody's going to know this one. So uh, talk away, guys. <laughs> okay, still loading. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun, isn't it? Actually, yes. It's uh, quite a challenge. It is definitely yes. a challenge. It is a challenge. <laughs> All good people, brand new by us. You, folks, everybody that you know that is on any social media platform right now, you need to be talking to them and say, or swiping in and sharing, said, you're going to want to see this. The harmonies are unbelievable, the band is incredible, and the tune is, I have to say, it is a great tune. So, uh, all good people, great tune by Yes. Here we go. All right. Classic. It is a classic. Here we go. I've seen all good people turn their heads each day so satisfied I'm on my way. I've seen all good people turn their heads each day so satisfied I'm on my way. Use 
Set. <laughs> this is the moving time where Jay you got to tell Mark what. Tell everybody what a prog set is. There may be some young people. That's right. Well, well from our era, they they had a, a prog rock, which was I guess you call it math rock now or whatever. But it was just kind of classical influenced rock and stuff. A lot of it came from from Britain. We're actually doing the Yes song. Obviously, Yes is English, and then also this this band, Emerson Lake of Palmer, is English. Yeah, we done it. We did the original Emerson Lake of Palmer tune. We did, which of course was another one of the famous one, Lucky Man. So this was kind yeah. of a nice. Uh, it's got a real cool vibe. You're gonna yeah. like it. Share this with your friends. Again, support the work of the ACLJ. All Here right. Here we go. <laughs>
like the spacey wobbly stuff at the end. That's fun. John Lowry on the keyboards. Yes, yes. Excellent job, John. Thank you. Excellent. John. And this is an American band, but it's uh, but they're sort of progish. A lot of what Boston yeah. did was, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Of. Ten minute songs, you know, eight minutes. That's songs. right, exactly. Our, yeah, which, that's totally right. Which, which, General Giant which was for a while there our specialty, I might add. <laughs> we were Giant. we were into the eight and ten minute songs. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Not so easy on the singers and drummers, but that's okay. A lot but of fun though. This is a lot of fun. This and I don't start on guitar actually. Back to Congress. All right, John Lowry's going to light Hang up on. the uh, the C three organ on this. Yeah. Tell me when. I keep Go playing. for it. I
that complicated enough? I think so. <laughs> That's a good tune. All right. Now we're going to go to one I believe that we wrote. Am I right? That's right. Theme song from the, uh, from the radio broadcast. That, yeah. Before we do that, yeah. let me take just a moment here as I switch my guitars. This, of course, if you've watched us play before, you will note that this is the guitar that's about the song. The song's called Undemocratic. This was a Gibson guitar. It's called the Government Series. There was not many of them made. It's when the government decided to raid Gibson because of some endangered species wood importation that ended up, Gibson ended up getting the guitars back. And they created the Government Series, so it's Government Gray. And then we wrote this tune about it, which kind of fit the moment. It's an old tune now, I have to say. Undemocratic was... Uh, Oh, you'll just you'll hear references to emails, and it'll just bring you back nostalgia of years gone by. But it's a fun it's a it's a fun tune. Mark, let's play it. All right, kick it. Come on, boys. Tucker, what do you hey, think? Yeah, there, now you go. And, and, and by the way, I should have done this in the last break, and I didn't because we're having such a good time, and I wasn't thinking about it. And we're going to get my... Playing a lot of guitars tonight. This is one of those nights where 
you know, the back's not aching too much. That's you, got a, you got a guitar tech, so you could play a tune. This is, I'm a big fan of Southern Rock. Went to, as I've said before, I went to law school in Macon, Georgia at Mercer, and uh, who now owns, Mercer owns Capricorn Studios, which is where all these bands were. Marshall Tucker Band, great tunes called Can't You See. I mean, it's been done by a lot of people, but they're the, they're the ones, I think. Don't you think, Mark? Definitely. Do you want this on easy overdrive, Mark? Yep, definitely. See, Mark's the music director. He tells us what <laughs> pedals to hit. Toss a little trim on that, too. A little tremolo here. Get a little vibe going. One more time. There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cool. Ready, Jay? All right. Two, ready. three, and four. Yeah. Such a great 
clapping you could put in those emojis we appreciate that so John Schlaff said this before so I'm not gonna say it for the 150th time this was a band he was in called Head East huge band great band Elefante here sang with Kansas this guy was Head East and Petra I mean it's pretty good Lowry played with Petra played with a zillion other bands Mark was DC talk Chris Cook and Mark have a band that does Beatle music Yes, we did. The three guys that started this whole thing are Marco Pangalo, That's right. Scott Kirkman, and me. And the first song we started playing together, I believe, may was Can't You See? It yeah. may have been. Wow. So. Good choice. It was a good choice. And that was about, that was, that was probably now 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah. I was going to say pretty close. It's been around a long That's time. Good. And we looked better than ever. Yeah. Just saying. We haven't aged a bit. All right. So this is a song you may, you get a, if you're home, you still want to get up and dance on this one. Never been any reason. A, it, as John, you like to say a classic. This is a classic. If you turn on the classic rock stations before they start moving them up the Sirius XM, you know when you're getting old? When 60s on 6 gets moved uh. <laughs> to like 127. <laughs> but nevertheless, you still find it. This is a great tune uh, by the band Head East. John was the lead singer on it, so like I say, it doesn't get any better than that. Here we go. Support the work of the ACLJ while you're doing it.
something better than a white lie Don't you know she could bring a good feeling Ain't had in such a long time Alright Save my life, I'm going down for the last time So, you know, five or six years. Yeah, just a couple of years. <laughs> it's great. Hey, so we did a tune of uh, John Schlitz from his Head East days. And now we're going to do a tune from uh, John Elefante's Kansas days. How about that? Dust in the Wind. You may have heard of it, possibly. I have a feeling you did. <clears throat> Beautiful tune. Written Amazing tune. Mr. Kerry Livgren. The that's Ecclesiastes, right? I think that's what he wrote it from, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I've never asked him. Has to be. <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> Certainly Solomon or something like that, you know. What kind of, you never asked him. What kind I just of sing it. I don't ask questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys right? And you know, everybody does their own, you know. I, I, I like to ask questions. I get, that's what I do for a living. All right. You guys right? I close my eyes Only for a moment And the moment's gone All my dreams That's before my eyes A curiosity Just in the Drop of water in an endless sea. All we do crumbles to the ground, though we refuse to see. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Dust in the wind 
Somebody might call you a good singer. Hey, folks, I'm going to go back to drums in just a minute. So, and listen a minute, about 30 seconds. There's a link on this uh, right now. You'll see it. And if you're watching on the social media platforms, they probably have it up on the screen as well. We want you to click on that link and support the work of the American Center for Law and Justice at ACLJ.org when our matching challenge campaign. This is the last day of the month. We're a little bit behind, a little bit behind of last year, which was a great year, but we like to beat it, so uh, that's important for us to do our planning. So any amount you donate to the ACLJ, we're getting a gift that matches it. Uh, any amount, so uh, it's been great. Your support makes a huge difference on this. ACLJ.org, you can link it right there. We're gonna go, uh, we've got a good set of tunes coming up here. Oh yeah, a bunch of, and including an original, but first we're gonna do a classic. A classic? Classic. The man says classic, for he knows it's classic. I thought we were gonna do Beat It. Beat It? Beat It, yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that would qualify as classic that, now. That's next month. <laughs> you know what I loved about a lot of the 60s uh, hippie bands is that everybody was into Motown, and rightly so. Yeah. You know what I mean? Motown music is just, for our generation especially, is just incredibly well done. Great songwriting, incredible singing. Uh, me personally, Marvin Gaye is like my favorite. And the production, like, the production was way ahead of everybody. Unbelievable. But like... We're going to do a Creedence tune here, Creedence Clearwater Revival. And I love that they picked a, like a Motown song to cover. And a lot of those bands from that era did that. I mean, the Beatles were huge Motown fans, you know. Well, they were blues, Motown. They, they were. Absolutely. So, but uh, this is called Heard It Through the Grapevine. Yeah. One, two, three, and four.
Credence version of that goes on for like 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps we cut that one down a little bit. Same so, repeat, repeat. Uh, yeah, but they, they, no, they, they have the whole instrumental thing at the end. Oh, look, we wrote this tune. Uh, this is original by uh, JSP. This is the first one we did. It right? was called yeah. Where I Stand. And it was then about a, the situation in Iran and the Middle East and Christian persecution. But I thought, we thought in playing the song again tonight, we're not going to ignore the evil. And that's what the song talks about the evil that's taking place right now in Ukraine. And I, I'm going to tell you something, folks. My family's origin is from that part of the world, and um, uh, it's, it's, it's a tragedy. And it's got huge implications, and it, could, it continues to displace upwards now of 12 million people have been displaced, which is about a third of the population. Uh, Russia does not seem to be relenting. The uh, Ukrainians are fighting. But, I mean, this has the potential to be... A world war if we're not really careful and if, if Vladimir Putin doesn't stop it's evil so that's what this song's about it's called where I stand because we all got to take a stand on that we are this is when we got to be united it's not an easy decision on what to make to go in or not go in putting American troops in the in the harm's way I, I'm very concerned I think that would be a mistake but Europe is in a war and they've been in a war two other times in the last hundred and five years it's called World War I and World War II. And the, there are the most troop movements in Europe since World War II right now. So pray for our leaders. Pray for the president. Pray for the secretary of state. I don't care what party you're on. Pray for the leaders of Ukraine. Pray, pray for the leaders of Europe, too, because this is in their backyard. It's very, very serious. The tune is where I stand. What I see from where I stand, I can't begin to comprehend. Awaken fear, just to think how far some people will descend. And what is now has been before. Over and over it's been ignored. There is a heart void of a soul. It's not as innocent. Here comes the means A twisted faith To justify a violent need Guided by lies that deceive Nothing the eye should ever see Now my heart is crying Deep beneath the voices lying I can't stand
song is more appropriate right now. Than it's, it Christmas. sure is. I mean, you really think about it, it really is. So pray for the people, folks. And, you know, one of the things we're able to do for you each and every day, five days a week at least, uh, on our radio broadcast is keep you up to date. You know, this year we were able to add um, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, uh, former Director of National Intelligence uh, Rick Rennell, both cabinet members of the previous administration we have been working with for decades. Uh, John Ashcroft, who of course, was the Attorney General during 9-11 under George Bush. So, you, folks, we, we've been able to really get great talent here for the ACLJ, but that happens because of your support for the American Center for Law and Justice. So if you're watching tonight, no matter what platform you're on, of course, we want you to share it for, with your friends. We also want you to support the work of the ACLJ. There's a link right there. Your gift will be doubled by someone else. Our donors have gotten together, and they will double your gift. So we encourage you to do that right away at aclj.org. Brand new tune, Mark. That's right. This is from a band called Ace, and they were kind of a one-hit wonder, but their singer from that band is amazing, Paul Carey. He went on to sing Living Years. That's right, Mike and the Mechanics. Tempted by the Fruit. Squeeze. Yeah, he joined other bands and... Uh, just a tremendous vocalist. And I told you he wasn't that big a deal. Oh, he's a what happened singer. to the other guys? Man, <laughs> that's what I always wanted to know. He's one of I my know. favorite. You know, the funny thing, I just saw an interview from him, or, or you know, that, that somebody had recently done a broadcast on him. And their first gig in the United States, they're a British band, their first gig in the United States was opening for Yes. Yeah. Okay. And oh, there yes, you go. Yes was huge. And they were absolutely scared out of their heads because they weren't an arena band. They right. were like a little, a little club band kind of thing. But they had the one hit, which we're I about think to play. They, they played it for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of solos, a lot of solos. Love this song. This is this just got a just got a. It's just a charming tune. And, uh, this was actually written about. This is not about a love uh, interest. That's correct. Yep, that's right. What's wh what's the backstory on this? Uh, well, apparently, uh, the the bass player for this band had been playing with other bands behind uh, Ace's back, and so. Uh, this is a, a song about, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> so, Scott, we're dedicating this to you. But right? is that because he knew he was the one-hit wonder? They were the one-hit wonders. <laughs> you want to blame the bass guy now. He was He's covering his bases. He was two-timing. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> two-timing on the band. All right. That's hilarious. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go.
not quite as dumb as it seems. Or am I? Uh, buddy, that's up to you. We, we can't well, you know... No, you're not. Most days. Can I get a second opinion? <laughs> Most days you're not. There are days! Jay, this is one of my favorite tunes you that like we do. You like taking care of business. It, it, it's such a fun song. It, it is it, a fun it tune. Takes, takes me way back to early band days for me, you know, because it's like when you're getting together with the guys in the garage and somebody's garage and you're just trying to hammer out a song. Hey, what can we play that's got three chords in it, you know? It's got cowbell, right? <laughs> Don't they all? That's right. And it goes something like today. this. <laughs> <laughs>
be Jesus is just alright, oh yeah Jesus is just alright with me Jesus is just alright I don't care what they may say I don't care what they may do I don't care what they may say Jesus is just alright Jesus is just alright Jesus is just alright with me Jesus is just alright just alright with me Jesus is just alright I don't care what they may know I don't care where they may go I don't care what they may know Jesus is just alright I'm going to move over there to the uh, guitar. Is that right? That's uh, right. Yes. And uh, three very different tunes coming up, right. stylistically. That's right. But all, all of them great. So here's what we'd like you to do. Support the work of the ACLJ, aclj.org. Share this with your friends. Even if it's late in the concert, it'll keep it up in the feeds. And that day, these days, that's a challenge. So we, we, all the help we can get on that. Oh, I'm going to move over. So some of you all talk. Elefante, do a little talk. Hey, 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 I'm glad to be here. 
We're glad you're here too, John. Yeah, hey, really what a great cool. organization, man, ACLJ. Amen. I've yes. been with the band now, what, nine years? Close. Uh, eight years. Eight or nine years? Yeah, yeah. And we have been blessed to be able to sing with an organization. Can you believe being singers and being able to be part of ACLJ, which change, helps change the world? All, just, I mean, it helps change things all over the world. When, I, when I'm out on the road, people talk about it all the time. I know, it's ridiculous. When people come up to me, they don't want to know about the gig I'm doing. <laughs> hey, what's it like playing with Jay Sekulow? <laughs> every time. <laughs> At least one person, every time. I totally agree. No, I, I, all the time I love too. it. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, folks, $5 means 10 Please. And there's nothing too fun. small, nothing too small. And uh, it's an amazing organization, or we wouldn't be here. Praise God. Well, if you haven't guessed yet, this tune is uh, closer to your home. I'm your captain. By who, Mark? It's by Grand Funk Railroad. Yes, sir. And he wrote this tune before he actually officially became a believer in Jesus. So you could definitely tell he was seeking at this point in time, if you, to use that term. So you good to go, Jay? I am. All right. You're looking great. So. Take good. it away, Mark. <laughs>
these guys singing. <laughs> John, John, Mark, and everybody else. Oh, and man. all of you at home, we know. We right, singers got to keep up with the band. You know, I was just thinking about that, John. Yep. <laughs> Jay believe... and all the rest. <laughs> I believe. Yeah, there you go. You know, we're doing a monkey's tune, playing a 12 string. I, That's right. I think this is my uh, fifth guitar for the night. Maybe. I think you're a guitar advertiser. I was going to say, when, uh, you have nice guitars, you should play them. Yeah, That's well, what I we think are. It I think it's like, you too can own 450 guitars. So a little uh, monkey's tune. You know, I always tell my wife that you know, the last time we value. played, I think, uh, Mike Nesmith had just passed away. Yes. Mickey Dolenz has now gone back out on tour yes. as the Monkees, doing the Monkees hits. Yeah. It's pretty good. And the cool part about it is, I guess, that he is there. They have video footage of the others. Uh, and, well, and that have never been seen before. Yeah. So he's actually doing something different this tour, which is kind of cool. So I know they come to Nashville before too long. Yeah. I'd love to maybe go see that show. That's going to be great. I think it's coming up this way pretty soon. I did a gig with him. He's great. Nice guy? He still sings real nice guy. He's Mickey. He's Mickey. Yeah, there That's you go. Right. <laughs> a classic. A classic. A regular right. classic. I'm a believer. Here we go. It goes like this. Take it, Johnny. One. I thought love was only true in fairy tales Meant for someone else, but not for me Oh, love was out to get me Just the way it seems Disappointment haunted all my dreams And then I saw her face Now I'm a believer not a trace But doubt in my mind That I'm in love Ooh, yeah. I'm a believer I could leave her if I tried I thought love was more or less A given thing it Seems the more I gave The less I got Oh, what's the use in trying Shine, I got rain And then I saw her face Now I'm a believer But not a trace No doubt in my mind Can I be tune which you're not going to want to miss it's a leonard skinner classic we have a, we do have a lot of fun with this one we have a lot of fun with all of them but folks as we do this again support the work of the aclj makes a huge difference uh for us especially at the last day of the month which is where we're at so we're going to call ourselves the breeze this can be uh and i have a little announcement afterwards so you don't want to stay tuned on that hang on here folks i'm going to switch guitars shockingly oh jay are you going to switch guitars i am I have blisters on my fingers, quoting John Lennon. 
but that's okay. <laughs> we need to clone Jay. Hey, we need to thank our guitar techs. Oh, absolutely. Yes. You've kept them busy. Big we did. Tonight. Yeah, the, taking care of Jay tonight is Matt Kaufman. Thank you, Matt. Jay, Matt. Over to Terry Marco is Landry right here. Right there, right there. <laughs> there we go. You got Landry. And, of course, our entire video production crew, which always does a great job. They sure do. Yes, they do. They're great. You know, they've learned to show just the good side of me, which is hard to find. I appreciate that, guys. Mark, you are Mark, what do you want me to kick on this thing? Easy. 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 Easy drive. Can you guys take a few pounds off on that video? Cool. They can. <laughs> do it, baby. Come on, mate. I, I'm not getting All the way. Again. All the way. That's the way it is now. Call me the breeze. All right, we're going to rock out to this one. You support the work of the ACLJ. Yeah. Here we go. That's right. Well, now they call me the breeze. 
just a breeze. I want to end with something. We're gonna, that, that's a great tune, by the way. But I, I want to take a minute. I'll tell you what. We're going to end on music. Very good. But I want to ask you to do something for us. This is uh, a big year for the ACLJ. John Slitz on our board of directors. He knows this. These guys, of course, know too because they work so closely with us. But this is a really big year, and we've got a lot of big initiatives coming. I, I, probably the biggest initiative we have ever – not probably. It is the biggest initiative we have ever undertaken – will take place in 2022. Um, it, it's a, it's going to be a major project uh, for religious freedom, for international, the fight against international persecution of Christians and other people of faith that are being destroyed because of what they believe. Not, not limited to any spot in the globe, anywhere in the globe. This is a major, major project for the ACLJ. It's including a facilities acquisition, and it's going to make our presence in these international tribunals really known. Folks, I, I will tell you this. There are not many lawyers that have been to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. And your team at the ACLJ, we've been there twice. Not once, twice. Once defending Israel's position, once defending the United States. There's not many groups in the country that have gone to the lectern at the General of the Assembly of the United Nations to fight against the boycott, divest, and sanction movement that is going after Israel. And your ACLJ did that too. How many organizations, and there are a lot of great organizations out there, this is not a, a, a knock on any of them, they all do great work. But you look at the work that we've done on getting pastors and other people of faith out of prison in countries like Iran and Turkey, and the list could go India, the American Center for Law and Justice, who brings you every day, five days a week at least, a broadcast for radio and television to get expert analysis. None of that happens without your support. All these folks that you're seeing right now, the ones on stage, the ones behind the cameras, your support of the ACLJ lets all of us do our jobs. And it's, let me tell you, it's a collective effort. You see the cases at the Supreme Court and that, but there's a lot that goes into it you don't see. So I'm going to ask you right now, as we get to ready to do some rockin' tune at the end here that Mark's going to think of, uh, maybe um, Crossroads? Well, I think it, I think it, uh James Gang. Oh, yeah, James Gang's a great way to end it. And while we're doing that, you hit that link on the, on the social feed you have right now and support the work of the ACLJ in our matching challenge. It really makes a difference. Thank you. Hope you all had a great night. We're going to go rock it out right here. One more. Going to the drums, I think. Yep, you're drumming on I'm this drumming one. I'm drumming on this one. <laughs> hey, Ryan, call up uh, Funk number 49, please. Not to be confused with number 46 or 7. <laughs> Which was okay, but not as good as... No, 49 was the best one. And I will say, yeah, Chris and I always have a good time when we do the double drums, but I would say Funk 49... That's, that's the high watermark for us. I think it is. That's yeah, right. it's a jammer. It right? is, because it's a jammer. I mean, the other ones are great. It's a jammer. That's I like it because it's my age. <laughs> he had to rub it in, didn't he? It, is that in, like, hamster years or something where they take, like, negative years? Uh, I don't know. All right, let's do this. <laughs> hey, you know, my friend, my friend Zorro, my friend Zorro, who's also on our board, sends me all these great snare drums. Last time we had one from, what was it, 1902. It was a hundred and something years old. This one is of 1960s vintage, and it sounds great. Love it. Thank you, Zorro. All you're right. Gonna, you're going to start having these snares, snares as you have the guitars. Yeah, well, we got between me and Chris, we got a pretty, pretty healthy collection. <laughs> That's right. All right, we're going to go out on this one, folks. So enjoy it. Share it with your friends again. Keeps the feed up there, and that's what we want you to do. <laughs> Support the work of the ACLJ. Funk number 49. Everybody James good. Did. Everybody good? Yeah. Okay, here we go.
We haven't what? done that in a while. One more. One more. Ooh. Hey, listen. Different song. This is a big. This is a big moment. Would be a different song. Let me tell you what, folks. This project. Let me look at a camera here. Where am I looking? Right there, folks. This project we're talking about is 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 really the biggest undertaking we've ever done at the ACLJ. There'll be more information about it in the months ahead. Can't give a lot of it out yet because we're still working through the process. But let me just say it is. It is bigger than our initiative in Washington, D.C. That was 21 years ago when we opened up, of course. Tremendous amount of work came out, does come out of that office and, and did, of course, and continues to at the Supreme Court and congressional hearings. But we're talking about another major move in the most international city in the world to impact the work for the kingdom. And that's where your support really comes in. So as we do this last tune, and this will be the last tune, I just want to say thank you. Support the work of the ACLJ at aclj.org. And uh, enjoy Crossroads, because that's what just came up on the screen. So we're going to do a little Eric Klattner. Uh Crossroads, we're going to end with this, folks. So at the end, you're just going to see the music. We're going to be out. Share it with your friends. Support the work, aclj.org. Let's go.
have a great week. Support the work of the ACLJ, and we'll see you next month in April. End of the month. Concert then, too.